Hey, hi, hello, how are you? I'm Pia and welcome to the start of a new weekly reading vlog. I'm starting this vlog on Thursday. What does that tell you about me? <laughs> I was doing a themed reading vlog. I'm doing another one, obviously, as you can tell. I just like didn't finish the other book. So we're gonna come back to that at some point. But I had this other idea and I like wanna get reading. So if you didn't watch my March TBR, watch my March TBR because But I had mentioned that the second I looked at Well Met and the second I looked at Firefly Lane, I was like, these are the colors of March. And then I just took a little peruse in my shelf. And I was like, well, this book. And this book, and this book, this book, and this book all are around the same kind of colors. My noggin did a little thinking. <laughs> and I said, what if I read books that are all this color? But I was like, this is a fantastic idea. Definitely not original. I um, love watching Chelsea Belling reads. Uh, she does Reading the Rainbow. But I was like, you know what? I noticed that I have a lot of this kind of like, it's like a teal. It's like a minty green, bluish kind of color. It used to be probably like my favorite color when I was a kid. Why don't I just, why don't I just do it for a video? And then it would be great. Anyways, three of these are actually on my TBR for the month. So there goes that. Um, so this one's on my TBR, which is like a short middle grade. And then I have Firefly Lane, which is a historical fiction, Well Met, which is a romance. And these other ones are all romances. <laughs> Apparently I'm decided to all be the same color. I think what I'm gonna start off with is I'm gonna play some Animal Crossing. Because I haven't played Animal Crossing in a while, and I'm going to be honest with you guys, I am a noob at Animal Crossing. I've had it since, since uh, Christmas, but I have not <laughs> gotten good at it. <laughs> so I think the first thing I'm going to pick up is an audiobook. So I think I'm going to pick up Firefly Lane's audiobook. This is definitely the longest one, the one that's going to take me the most time to get through. And so if I can pop it in my ears, listen to the audiobook, I'm like not really doing anything else while I play. Animal Crossing, so I feel like this will be a good time. Hello, my friends. Long time no vlog. I'm wearing my what is it asshole day shirt because that basically describes how I've been, how I've been doing. I have some reading updates for you guys. I have a wax melt order that I just purchased. I got a new wax warmer. You probably don't care, but it's like my new favorite thing. Like candles were like it, you know, but now I'm like these little like things. Perfect. Like perfection. So I started Firefly Lane. This is my audiobook right now. I am about... 40% into it. I'm loving it. I think the there's two main characters. They're like best friends. It's about basically their journey of friendship throughout their entire lives. One of them is so annoying. <laughs> um, and I think she's written like she's supposed to be kind of like that. Gosh, she's annoying. Um, but I love like the the vibes of it. Like because it starts in like the 70s when they're kids, and now I think they're in the 80s, and it's kind of how there's like you know obviously this really strong uh, female character, and her friend is kind of just like following along, and um, it's kind of about kind of choosing your own path and kind of growing beyond that, I guess. Um, but I'm really liking it so far. I mean, Chris and Hannah can do no wrong. And I also just started Well Met, which I am so excited for. This, I'm 20 pages into. I haven't started it that much, but my Nana was over and we were doing some beauty treatments. It was so fun. Yeah, so this is about a Renaissance fair and a romance at a Renaissance fair. And I really <laughs> like that the main character, she doesn't actually want to be in the Renaissance fair. Um, because personally, like, I don't, I'm not in that culture. Like, I don't really know a lot about it. So to me, it's like a little weird. Um, I mean, I'm not gonna yuck someone else's yum. Like, if that's your thing, go for it. I don't care. But I like that she's like very new to it. Um, so I think um, that's a really strong point in the writer's, uh, for the writer, um, is to kind of learn about uh, Renaissance fairs uh, through through the main character. So I got some wax melts. I got some wax melts from Nerdy Wax Company. Um, it's an Etsy shop I'll leave down below. And I've ordered from them before a couple times. And I got some like scents that were retiring, so they were on super sale. First off, I'll show you the one I got for free. So. This one is The Vision. They just came out with a WandaVision collection and I'm assuming this was in that collection. And this says it's cozy flannel, mind stones, and sandalwood. And it just smells like a man. <laughs> like a really, like a, a, a man that smells good. But like clean too, boys. Learn. And then onto my actual order, I got uh, this one which is like Lumiere and Cogsworth. They did like a, a uh, Disney collection. Um, and this one is supposed to be carrot, cinnamon, spice, and vanilla. I thought it was gonna smell like carrot cake. And it basically does. And it smells so good. <laughs> um, and then I got Magic Kingdom. I think this is one of their staples, but they might be getting rid of it. And this is chocolate chips and cookie dough. I'm not sure how I feel about this one. Because, like, it's really sweet. Gonna get my get some glitter on my nose, hopefully. Um, but it's really pretty. It's, like, this really pretty color. But I can't, I can't tell if I like it yet. <laughs> and then I got Bullseye. These are all, like, from different collections that are discontinuing. And this one's banana, banana nut bread. Really cute little 
I, I also can't decide if I like this. It's like, I like, I really like sweet scents, but I think I'm a little bit picky about them because there are so many like gross sweet scents that you buy like, you know, like at like Walgreens. <laughs> but I think I like it. Okay, and then I got Stanley. This is from uh, the Office Collection. I don't know anything about The Office, but it's like a beachy one. This one smells really good. Really fresh. It's lemon pulp seawater and beach sand. Forgot to describe that one. And then I got uh, Kevin, which is zucchini bread, maple glazed bacon, and fresh pancakes. I was so excited about this one because like I love pancakes. Zucchini bread. I think this is supposed to be it. Does he make chili? I have no idea. I don't watch the show. Uh, but it's like poopy brown. But This is like one that I, I don't think I like. But I'm not sure. Because <laughs> I think I could it could grow on me or it could be like disgusting. I think it might burn better. Then my favorite one that I got are the Main Street Cinnamon Rolls. They came out with a... Uh, confectionery collection based on uh disney and these are literal oh my gosh they're so cute it's little cinnamon rolls and they smell so good oh they smell so good <laughs> and this is uh fluffy pastry dough vanilla and cinnamon sugar mix so cute if anything get this one also say hi to my new wax warmer she has a timer these are kind of an investment i'm gonna be honest i think they were i think this was like 40 bucks um it's huge like you can't really tell how huge this is sorry this is a mess yeah it's really big i have squeaky <laughs> floor tiles but um and i have a wax melon there from a different place it's a fruity pebbles one and it like matches but i grabbed this on amazon and i just heard really good things about this just because it does have this timer um and it does get the wax nice and hot so the uh, smell actually smells <laughs> better than uh the old one i used to have so yeah i think it's an investment and i mean these things are just so inexpensive that it's I don't know to me it's a little bit worth it and this is also nice like if you're like me and you're gonna go to college soon um or you're in college like you you're not burning anything so uh, i sound like i'm promoted by happy wax but i'm not this is happy wax uh please sponsor me <laughs> was anyone expecting any different i'm in love with this book this is so good <laughs> i am loving it so much i'm loving this book it's amazing i want to go finish it but i was listening to the audiobook and i'm like <sighs> it's so good like i just love how kirsten hannah kirsten fuck Kristen Hanna <laughs> writes relationships and gosh darn it I really want to watch the series now I am so so excited to finish this book I'm pretty close to being done I think I have like a couple hours left of the audiobook and this I'm gonna go read and then hopefully I'll be able to pick up another book today it's Sunday but like life is wild life is crazy I was up until 4 a.m. last night like life is kooky this is cool my battery's gonna die <laughs> I am 100 pages 100 pages I'm 100 pages through well meant. I actually really like this. It's an enemies to lovers romance, which is a mood, a vibe, a real good time. So like I said, the main character is kind of being introduced to this fair world <laughs> and they take it really seriously. Um, and the guy, uh, I think like I predicted, uh, is already like into it. It's like a thing, you know what I mean? Bashing heads, you know? But she's like, oh, I'm really attracted to him. So like, it's gonna be a good time. My battery's flashing. So I'm gonna go charge you and read some more. I don't know if you'll be able to tell but I was just crying like an idiot <laughs> about uh, freaking Firefly Lane. Um, let's hold up the book, show you what I'm talking about. Oh my god. <laughs> I have an hour left of it and um, my uh, my eyes literally burn from like like over here from, from the tears. <gasps> Why am I so- <laughs> I need to go read this book but like, damn. I just want to say, did y'all expect me to read this book and not cry? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> it's so good. I don't even- <laughs> Like, I can't even like put into words. I like, I'm gonna start crying. <laughs> I don't know how there's a sequel, but I don't know if I would want to read it just because of how this ended. This is just such a sweet story about best friends and I just, it makes me really emotional. <laughs> I don't know, Chris and Hannah like can do no wrong in my book. I'm just, <laughs> ah, I'm crying. Okay, good thing all my other books that I'm gonna be reading are just like cute romances because, um, fuck. The next audiobook I'm gonna pick up, pick out, pick up, both, kind of. You know what? I'm gonna stop explaining. I'm gonna pick up uh, this. This is called The Perfect Escape. I didn't even realize what I was holding up. Because I have the audiobook on Hoopla. This is a uh, two people are in an escape room and they fall in love. In a zombie theme esca themed escape room. Oh, they both work there. Interesting. I love it. Love it. Sounds fun. Sounds like a good time. Sounds like the opposite of what I just read. <laughs> um, which I'm down for. I decided like these weekly vlogs are are nonsense. Like, I'm, I'm not gonna put dates on these. I, like, I just want to finish the books I'm talking about. Yeah, it's like nighttime, uh, but I just had a Red Bull, so like, <laughs> let's get going. I do want to finish Well Met too. It's like over there, because I was reading it. Okay, I finished another book. <laughs> uh, it is now, is it technically tomorrow? It is technically the next day. Uh, so I have finished The Perfect Escape. This is The Hunger Games. <laughs> like, <laughs> hear me out. Like, kind of. <laughs> There's no love triangle. No stupid love triangle. 
uh, but like the escape room vibe was like the hungry. <laughs> So I loved it. It was a very good time. Uh, super cute. I really liked the romance. I think it was really realistic for like a young adult romance. It wasn't like, oh my gosh, we're getting married. You know what I mean? So I thought it was cute. Um, and I liked it a lot. And I think this was a fun book. I literally, <laughs> it was like a movie. Like I finished this so fast. Anyways, <laughs> I don't know why my brain just stopped working. I'm going to pick up Well Met and do some physical reading uh, right now. Um, I don't know what I'm gonna put on while I physically read. Like, every device. <laughs> Camera, iPad, phone, laptop, book. It's really like 10 seconds ago I was like, oh my gosh, I have so much energy. <laughs> Hello everyone. Uh, good evening. Uh, I always feel like, uh, z the Count from, like, s s Sesame Street <laughs> when I <I'm> say <saying> evening. <laughs> Anyways. So I have started a new book and then I'm almost done with a book. So I have started only mo only <laughs> I have started only mostly devastated um, by Sophie Gonzalez. This is a debut from last year and I was kindly gifted this by a subscriber, so thank you. <laughs> and this is a male male retelling of Grace and I love Grace. If you don't know, I'm like a hoe for musicals, love it. So I started this. I like I was listening to the audiobook. Uh, today and I was like I like forgot when I started it that it was a Grease retelling and then I like and then it clicked at one point and I was like oh that's why this is happening because it's like that in the movie do I? I don't know I'm like 2% through this I'm 4% through it actually guys so like you know watch out I'm like way farther through well met I was reading this last night and I stopped reading it and I was like okay I'm gonna go to sleep and then I remembered to have this trusty little convenient reading light my best friend Ashley got me um so I read like 50 more pages so I'm now on page 243 I'm on chapter 19 some great things have happened I'm loving this romance I love it so much might pick up might have to pick up the next one who the, actually let me look it up who the next because I think it's a companion so I also found out today that I don't have guaranteed housing for next year that's so exciting I don't know where I'm gonna live yet uh but I'll give you my address as soon as I know <laughs> Stacy's mom has got it going on. Oh, I'm, I'm excited. Hello, everyone. I like it more than a three, but I don't know if I love it enough to be a four. But this was super cute. Um, It had some great chemistry. I mean, I always find the conflict like kind of uh, contrived, but like I felt like this one like made a lot of sense for the reasons why characters got mad at each other and, and whatnot. But so it is now later um, and I'm going to watch Ant-Man. I've been watching all of the Marvel movies in chronological order. Hello, everyone. How you doing? Don't know what this voice is. Sorry about the the slight. I just okay. Hi guys. It is Friday, so this uh, reading vlog has been going on a little bit uh, longer than normal. But I'm I'm still continuing it because like why stop when you're having so much fun, you know? So I have been reading only mostly devastated. I am listening to the audiobook for this, and I'm like 75% done with it. Very very cute. I don't think I would like the love story that much if it wasn't a Greece retelling, like if I didn't know that beforehand. Um, because obviously some things that happen in Greece are kind of fucking rude. <laughs> like, like you've seen Greece, right? Like. Or am I spoiling it? Like, like John Travolta's character is like kind of a dick for a while, and like I feel like it actually humanizes him a little bit more in this book, or the character that's, you know, his, he's inspired by. It. Yeah, but I mean, I, I I think it's like a really good like modern twist on it. Like I'd love to see this as a movie, as like an updated version of Greece. Like I I really like <laughs> keep dropping it. Uh, and then I started another book today. I started Friend Zone, uh, the Friend Zone. Sorry, if you've been following my channel for a little bit, I've been wanting to read this book for. A hot minute. I even started it at one point. I remember reading it on my phone. So I, I didn't own the book, right? Or maybe I did and I didn't have the audiobook and I went to listen. Whatever. Um, I am now 179 pages through the book and I started it today. <laughs> I don't know what it is about like uh, these like rom-com books and the love interest's name being Josh, but like I'm here for it because like they're all perfect. <laughs> But very, very swoon worthy. I really like the main conflict and the internal conflict that the um, main protagonist, uh, Kristen, is having. It's mentioned in the in the back in the summary, uh, so I'm not spoiling anything. But she makes this really big uh, medical decision, and um, she basically will not be able to have kids. And uh, she meets this guy Josh, who is a big like family guy, and he, you know really wants uh, that sort of relationship, but they're so engrossed and involved with each other uh, emotionally that um, it becomes quite complicated. It's so good. It's so good. And I love the characters. They're really like witty and sassy. I especially really love the main character, Kristen. She is so freaking badass. She's really blunt and I love uh, 
people like that and main characters like that so I really love that so I'm probably gonna finish those two today and then I thought maybe I'll just like pick up quickly read ways to make sunshine hey guys so I'm going to wrap up the vlog here I gotta update you on my last couple books that I finished now that we're in like a great place my books are all over here <laughs> um so I finished five books from this video so let's let's <laughs> show them so I uh told you I was gonna finish these two books so I finished only mostly devastated I gave it three out of five stars I liked it as a grease retelling but I don't think I would like it that much if it wasn't a grease retelling if you know what I mean um but I think it was fun and it was a good and I liked it and then I also read The Friend Zone and I really love this book I gave this four out of five stars it was so so cute and I really liked the conflicts and I liked the characters um and it was a really really great romance <laughs> to recap I read Firefly Lane I think I gave this five out of five stars I read The Perfect Escape I gave that three out of five stars Well Met I gave like 3.5 out of five stars Only Most of Devastated three out of five stars and then the friend zone four out of five stars. Not too shabby. Also like a ton red for, for this reading vlog. I think from now on I am gonna do like themed reading vlogs rather than just like a week because it's kind of a mess when I do <laughs> just a week and I don't finish things. And But I am so happy with, <laughs> with how much I was able to read and I'm really excited uh, to see you guys in my next vlog. So bye. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, do all the things and I will see you in my next video. I kind of forgot to say that, but okay, bye. <laughs>